Hello there, good evening, welcome back to my channel. My name's Louise and this is Louise's Lifestyle. Thank you for joining me. So this afternoon I received um, some mail from Sri Lanka and uh, I received seeds. And these are red Malaysian guava seeds. Now this is not the first lot of guava seeds from Sri Lanka that I've had. Um, a couple of months back I got a batch of seeds from a different seller, so from Sri Lanka, but a different seller. Unfortunately, none of the seeds germinated. So um, I've been hunting on the internet, you know, for more seeds, but obviously not going with that seller. I did reach out to them and say, you know, that they're, none of the seeds had germinated, but they, they didn't get back to me. After that, I did order some seeds from a seller in Spain, and that I think was on Etsy. And these uh, were labelled purple guava, but the, the seller did show me a picture of the actual plant and it is a red uh, guava, um, uh, you know, a red Malaysian guava, but she, she labelled it as purple. And uh, I did the same with these, soaked them, um, had them in this compost. I also had some uh, soaked, well, not soaked, kept in the moist cotton pad, covered, um for a couple of months you know warmth provided but got zero germination so i did reach out to that seller and um, she has promised to send me some more seeds free of charge and she's also said that if this second lot don't germinate because i did point out to her that seeds look quite dark when i got them uh, they were much darker than uh, they're much darker than those and possibly they were a little bit old or loss of viability. So she's sending a second lot, but she said that if the second lot don't germinate, um, to wait till August when she can harvest the ripe fruit and then she can extract some fresh seeds and she'll send me those. So, you know, that's um, if the second lot, you know, when they do arrive, hopefully soon, um, if they don't germinate, I'll be getting a third lot from her. So that's promising. So what I thought I would do with these seeds, so I got about 80 seeds in total. I'd ordered 50 because I wanted to make sure I had enough because the, the previous times I had about 20 seeds. And, uh, you know, I think sometimes you, obviously, statistically, you're going to lower your chances of germination with fewer seeds. So... I ordered 50, I ended up with 80, they, you know, they sent me 80 odd seeds and so I thought I wouldn't use all of them in one go so I've kept back about say 30 odd and what I've done I've got um, 20 seeds here, I've got 20 in there and I've got um, 10 in here and what I've done is I've, I've got them soaking in solution and I intend to keep them in this solution for, tea, for, for two weeks. I've been studying on the internet um, various ways of how to germinate, hard, hard to germinate um, seeds like guava. And there has been some uh, scientific studies done you know in laboratories I'm not a scientist but what from what I read they've tried different methods to see which is the best uh, that you get maximum germination or good germination results from some places have just said boil the seeds for a few minutes um, and or if you if you can't boil them soak them for two weeks so that seems to crop up quite a lot so i've got plain water here and these are going to be soaking for two weeks i am not going to boil them the reason being i read in one of these studies that boiling um you know when they compared to other methods gave uh, zero germination so um it, it sounds like boiling them was killed off the seed completely other methods used were like hydrochloric acid, a quick dip in hydrochloric acid um, gave some results. Well, I don't have access to hydrochloric acid, so I won't be doing that. And gibberellic acid, which you can get off the internet, but, you know, I've 
I didn't want to start ordering chemicals over the internet and you know can look a bit suspect you know if you start ordering chemicals so um I, ha I I'm using what I've got in the house I've got potassium nitrate so that did come up in one of the studies um, using potassium nitrate to germinate seeds apparently is a good um, way to start them off so I've got these are in potassium nitrate I've got 20 in there and potassium nitrate is used in um, help promote uh, fruiting and flowering in trees and you know flowers etc so uh, it's good to use later on so when your plants are established or if you've already got established trees that you're wanting to fruit this is a good thing to add you know uh, as uh, on top of your normal uh, feeding of or fertilizing of plants and epsom salts has got magnesium in it now they did do um a test on the magnesium the results sort of varied you know sometimes it was a bit hit and miss so i'm not saying that that's what they said but when i tried to interpret what the results were it seemed that in some cases you've got good results and some you know depending on what the seed was i think one chap did a study on youtube again not scientific study he planted kale and onions and the onions fared very well with the epsom salt but the kale uh, didn't germinate at all uh, or very poor but um, the control was water and on the control section um, the, the kale did germinate although slower um, but you did get some germination um, so it it may or may not work for guava seeds so I, I've only so well I've only uh, put 10 seeds in the magnesium rather than uh, putting too many so I don't you know I don't want to waste them um, so that's going to be my little science project so um, in two weeks time I will get these planted into um, compost similar to that plant them in compost put them in the propagator and also I will be keeping some in the little uh, you know these little containers with the cotton pads so that will happen in two weeks time and then let's say come back in about a month so today is the 20th of March so come back in say the 20th of April um, and let's see if anything has happened so thanks for watching everyone take care bye bye